Hey guys, that's right. I thought I would do a Walmart fitness haul. I've been seeing a couple people do like fitness apparel hauls and I'm pretty cheap for the most part. So even though I have certain brands I specifically love, I wanted to do a little video about, you know, cheaper fitness apparel that you can get just down at Walmart. So uh, I did go to about three different Walmarts, but if you guys like the clothes, you can just order them online and really save yourself some time. So. Uh, first, I want to show you guys, and then I'll probably do a try on. Maybe I'll edit it. Maybe I'll. How about this? How about I'll show it, I'll try it on, and I'll edit the clip so it's all fluid. That way, you guys don't have to worry about anything in particular. So, first off, I got this. It's like a cutoff hoodie. Let's see if you guys can see that. Um, and it's kind of scoop at the bottom, it's got a scoop cut to it. And this was $13.46. I guess I should show you the tags that way if you guys are trying to buy something. I don't know that you can really see that. But this is a George. And then it's called an elongated hoodie. And I, I think I got all smalls in here. So just keep that in mind. My chest is like 40. 40. I have a 40 inch chest. And then I'm at 5'6". And I weigh like anywhere between 160 and 170, depending on what week it is. So I'd probably pair that with something a little bit warmer. So I got like shorts and I got hoodies. That way you could do it all together. I'd probably pair it with some of these gray joggers. So these are Athletic, athletic Works. Um, they're small as well. I have about a 30 inch waist and they're 996. So, yeah, these are pretty good. So I'm going to go try these on, and then, like I said, I'm going to edit it all. So these are the joggers. Um, they don't have any pockets in the back. Hopefully that's okay for you. But they do have a spot for your phone. Uh, this is the hoodie. And it's still got, like, that athletic kind of cut. It just seems to me like this is kind of the style nowadays. Um, but this is what we have going on. So this whole thing would have been 10 and 13. I also got these shoes as well. Uh, they're Avia. Called the Enduro Pro Comfort. Enduro. Let's see if you guys can see that. No? That's really bad lighting. There you go. I know it's backwards. I have it on selfie mode. I need to get me a little camera that I can see up front. But uh, let's see. That's about it. So I would just say the if you type that in, the Enduro Pro, they'll probably pop up. But these are... Little fitness shoes that I found. They're 20 bucks. It's a really good deal. Super flexible if you're doing like calf raises or anything. They're kind of stylish. They're, they're kind of styled after the Adidas. Let's see our next transition. We also have these in black. So I'm going to try these on next. These um, joggers. So we have a black pair. And I think I would pair that with this tie-dye shirt. I have some other, I have this other shirt that I'm kind of excited to show you guys. Um, I did a little poll on my Instagram to whether or not I should do it, whether I should buy it for the gym. So the votes were in and they said yes. But So I'm going to pair this shirt with black joggers, kind of like the ones I have on. They're exactly the same. So I'll show you guys those in just a second. Okay, so here's the tie-dye. Um, I got this in a different color as well. I thought... I actually really liked it. I don't know why. But this tie just seemed to really, really kind of fit what I was feeling that time. So these shirts are really low in the back. I don't necessarily need a shirt to cover my entire butt. And I think it's kind of, I don't know if that's a style or what, but I would probably just cut it to mimic this front part. It's not as bad. Um, again, these are the joggers as well. They're black. Um... Two pockets in the front, drawstring. They're pretty, they're pretty uh, form fitting. Nothing too serious, but I did want to show you. So it was ten dollars, and this was eight forty four. So this is like a twenty dollar outfit as well. I tried to keep it around twenty dollars for the outfits. That way, I wasn't pushing the budget for the for the five days for the gym. Um, next, we have. Some shorts. 
I wanted to show you guys some shorts. I have another tie-dye shirt. Actually, I have three tie-dye shirts total. Um, but I wanted to show you kind of like a spring, a spring one next. So I'm going to go with that here next. So I would say, let's see, do that. Some compression pants and some shorts. So I'm going to go change into that really quick. I know now I'm up to three items. This is getting scary. Maybe it'll, maybe I'll go over for the $20. Okay. So I'm not like super proud of this shirt, but it is pretty cool. It's got holes in the back. I don't know if you guys can really see that. Um, it's got holes in the back, but here, here in Utah, you know, sometimes the weather is unpredictable and in the spring. So if you're going for light jog or something, this actually would work actually really good. Um, and I didn't show you before, um, but these are the leggings. Let's see. So this is what I'm going to wear next. Basically the same thing. So I have these gray shorts on. Let me get up here so you guys can see. Um, so I have these gray fitness shorts on and this will be next. These are white and black, but they are different. So this fully comes down. I'm going to flash the camera. <laughs> so they're, they're, they are separate. They're individual pieces. These are the shorts. Um, I really like these shorts actually. I think that these are going to be my new favorite shorts. And then there are the compression pants underneath. So just, just enough to keep you warm if you're going out jogging or something or if you're out in the cold. But the shorts themselves were $11.88 and they are Russell. Um, Russell Woven Performance Short. And I think I'm just going to link all of this in the description box below. Maybe I'll have links to everything like first outfit was here, second outfit, third outfit, whatever. That way it's not as much, it's not as time consuming for you guys. So I'm going to try this on. Oh, and then this shirt was on sale. It was, it's Athletic Works and it's L, long sleeve, breathable tee. And originally it was $7.76. Right now it was five. I could only find a medium. And it's kind of big on me. I would probably go back and get a small, but it was on sale. So I, I don't know if they had a small at a different store or not, but that's what I came up with. So I'm going to go change into the black and white. So this is our, this is our fourth outfit. This is this red maroon. These are all small as well. So I have three of these tie dyes as part of this try on. Now, the reason why I did three of these is I think it's really important for you to create your own style, whether you want to do a cutoff, I would still use this. So I'm thinking of doing like one that's a cutoff, one that's plain, like I'll probably keep this one. Maybe I'll cut this one off. I'm not sure. I, I haven't decided yet, but I'm also going to cut off the bottom so that the back isn't as long. Like I just think it's a little weird, kind of a weird uh, trend that's going around or that's going on, like it's a disease or something. So these are the leggings as well, or leggings, compression pants, um, athletic tights, whatever you want to call them. And then some of those black Russell shorts. I really do like these shorts. I don't know why they kind of, I don't know if they're just so light or what, but it actually is a really kind of a, kind of a cool material. It's just some people don't like the way they sound when they rub against each other. So keep that in mind. However, I did want to show some of these on with the shoes. So maybe I can try these on right now. That way you can kind of see like the whole thing together. Um, I would say this is, this is definitely gym apparel guys. I know it's maybe not like name brand, but you don't have to be in Nike or Under Armour, whatever it is. You don't have to be in that when you go to the gym. The gym is really about feeling good in what you're wearing. Not that that's what it's about, but it's a lot easier to stay there and, and be confident if you're in something that you feel comfortable in. So I also got, this is probably my second favorite. This is a marble, like a marble white tie dye. This is probably, this is what, this is like what caught my eye. And I was like, Oh, I, I could totally dig that. Like that's, that's definitely my style. And then these are Russell, shorts as well. They're a little bit different. These are like gym shorts though. So, um, and all, all of my pants were small except for these, um, whatever these were, the compression base, they're called base layer, warm base layer tight. So that's what you'll have to type in and that's what will be in the link. Um, originally, I guess they were 1567 in comparison though. If you get these that were 
like Under Armour or Nike, they're like 50 or 60 bucks. So you're going to save a ton of money. I got them on sale. They're $11. Hopefully they're still $11 when you guys are watching this. And then these are Russell Dry 360. I think I'm going to try the shoes on with those. That way it's not like super confusing. So let me change into that real quick. Okay, so I kept the tights on or the Under Armour kind of compression shorts. These are a little big on me. Now I did say I did get a medium, but I couldn't get the smalls over my ankle. <coughs> it was just super hard. If I did, it was like super stretching them. So just pay attention. Um, if you do have bigger feet, I wear a size nine. Um, so the mediums fit a lot better down there. And they are a little loose, but that's okay. If you wanted to cut these as well, I might actually just cut them at that seam. I think that would be super beneficial. I just need something to cover my knees so that when I'm on like the turf, I don't, for some reason, whatever's on the turf, like really irritates my skin. And when I'm doing like lunges or anything, it kind of messes up my knees. So keep that in mind. So this is your fitness apparel. This is the last one. And then I'm going to try on the shoes as well. Uh, this, this to me, this is like the perfect fitness apparel. Like it, it all matches, it all flows, has a really good feel to it. And then these shoes, these shoes just like top it off. When I first tried them on in the store, I was like, and eh, do I really like these? And then when I put them on, I fell in love with them. So they definitely weren't like my first choice. I was like, eh, do I really want those? Like, am I going to, am I really going to like, would I wear them or am I just buying them? You know, so they are something I'm going to continually wear. They're super cheap. So why wouldn't I anyway? I'm not all about name brands. I do like certain, certain brands that have like a really good material. I'm not really all about like the cause. Like I understand like some brands like Cora. Cora is a really good one that I support that they, they support different charities and stuff. So I do that, but nothing like uh, Nike or anything. So these are the shoes. Woo, hang on. Let me pull this up so you can like get a feel of how they would be with shorts. So this is the shoe. I actually really like these. Let me pull the other one up. So this is how they look. If I don't fall over um, from afar, a little rotation. Huh? Huh? <laughs> you get all the angles? So this is a fitness shoe. And then I told you guys I had one shirt that uh, I had Instagram vote on. So I want to show you that, that real quick. Um, I am going to cut this into an, like an A shirt. I'm going to cut off the sleeves, but I kind of fell in love with them. I'm not going to lie. And I have, I have shorts with like a little like tealish green aqua blue color down the side. And, uh, this, I was actually wearing it when I went to buy this. So it like fit perfectly. I knew it was going to work in my gym kind of get up attire. So I'm kind of excited, but look at that golden girl squad. That's freaking awesome. Uh, but I am going to rep this at the gym. This was originally, let's see. Um, that doesn't give the original price. I got it for five bucks. Let's see what it was originally. It's not going to tell me. Seven eighty-eight. So similar to that other stuff. Um, and I'm going to put the total of this whole haul in, uh, in the description. So if you guys want to know the total, um, you can look in the description. I'll probably do like an on sale price and a um, original sticker price. That way you can kind of see. This is a whole week's worth of um, worth of fitness attire. So just keep that in mind. A whole week for like, I think it was like 150 bucks or something that I spent. So that's super doable. You just wash it the next week. You wear it. You change it up. You can do a lot of different stuff with having the leggings, just having shorts different tops, cutting the tops. Um, you could really kind of change things up. And for 150 bucks, that's like the price of one, of, of one like Nike, apparent, like one Nike outfit. Like this is five outfits from Walmart. And, and I know that's not like super special to anybody, but this is like perfect for my get up and my attire. So you guys might see these in other videos that I'm doing. So just keep that in mind and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.